After building my first mechanical keyboard, I've just got one question. How slow is each connection mode? And more specifically, is Bluetooth slow enough to blame for bad gaming performance? Not my fault boys, keyboard lag. We're going to use this Arduino microcontroller. This will send a fake keyboard input to my PC and at the same time trick my real keyboard to thinking a key was pressed, no matter if it's in wired or wireless mode. To detect the difference between the fake and real keyboard inputs, I'm gonna to have to write a program. And because I love unnecessary project pressure, we're gonna do this in one day. It's currently 10 a.m. Let's go. The Arduino keyboard library allows us to mimic a keyboard for our computer. I load up some example code and a button input, so with each press of the button, the Arduino types at lightning speed into the computer. That's cool. When you look at a typical mechanical key switch, you'll find two metal pins on the base. When you press the key switch down, a plastic wedge drives the other ends of the metals together, connecting the circuit, acting as a switch. A relay, however, is an electromagnetic switch. When power is passed through one end, an electromagnet is charged and pulls two pieces of metal together, connecting the circuit. My plan is to use a relay to wire into the keyboard to simulate a key switch being pressed. Oh no, I just realized I don't have a five volt relay. Yeah, awesome, cool, I'll pop in later today. Thank you. All right, we only need one, but I grabbed a spare just in case. I change the code to send 5 volts to the relay for 2 seconds and type into the computer what it's doing. Let's change the green LED to a keyboard switch. To plug the relay into the keyboard, I've had to trim a jump wire in half. Now its thickness surprisingly matches a mechanical keyboard switch pins. Right, this is the first time of the relay. Let's press on. Oh, I did it! It hit the number 7 and then said relay off. What? <laughs> Pieces of the puzzle are coming together. If you have a project that requires 3D printing, a custom PCB, or even some metal CNC'd, then head to PCBWay.com where you can simply upload your file, select the material, color, and qualities, and get an instant quote for it to be manufactured and shipped to your door. Big thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring today's video. That has me to make fun projects like this and share them with you. So let's write this program. I'm gonna change the Arduino to only send the number four. Now we have the four coming from the Arduino and the seven coming from the real keyboard. I wrote a script to log the time of the first keystroke and the second, and then calculate the difference. And the difference has been recorded as ticks. There are 10 million ticks in a second. They are 100 nanosecond intervals. It's, it's still my brain in a bit. Yeah. But I had one question. Can we find how much lag the relay is adding to the circuit? So I wired the relay into the Arduino so we can measure the time it takes to activate. This is such fun. The delay for the relay is showing up about two to three milliseconds to turn on. With that information, I set the relay to trigger before the Arduino sends its key press, so it has a fighting chance. And updated my program to record 10 inputs and return a minimum, maximum, and an average of the results. After testing the keyboard's four modes, it's clear that Bluetooth is not the best option, with a huge spike, especially for the first keystroke. But it is interesting to see the wide and 2.4 GHz results intertwine. I nicknamed this little guy Speedy Kibi. It was a pretty fun project, literally just following my curiosity. I wanted to know what mode on this keyboard was the fastest, and now I have the answer. I do have a gaming keyboard build on the way, so when that arrives, we'll be able to do some comparisons to find out how much faster is a gaming specific keyboard. If you're wondering why this sounds familiar, your car's indicator lights use timed relays. If you liked today's video, thumbs it. If you loved it, sub it. And I'll see you in my keyboard review or my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.